Hi, this is Mark Evanstein with music.py, and this is a Python music short. So for today's Python music short, I thought I'd start with the script from last time, which creates these kind of random chords with particular interval content. It starts with uh, defining a function, build chord, uh, which takes the interval options, how many notes, where you want the chord to be, and pitch. And then you create a session, an organ part, and while true, you play a kind of randomly generated chord using the function. What I want to talk about today is how to take this and shape the texture over time so that you can hear it morph and change. And I'm going to start by doing something that I often do once I create a script that I think is a little bit interesting, which is to pull out the key parameters. So there are a few things that are contributing to the sound of this. Um, so for one thing, we've got how many notes are in the chord. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, num notes in chord. I'm going to move that variable up here, say num notes in chord equals 5, just to give it a starting value. Then we've got here the pitch center of the chord. So I'm going to say pitch center. I'm going to say here pitch center equals 60. Volume is also important to how it sounds. So I'm going to say volume equals 0 0.8. I'm going to stick volume down here. And duration is definitely going to be important to how it sounds. So I'm going to say duration equals 0.5 and move that down here. So if we listen to this, it's going to have a consistent number of notes, 5. It's going to have a consistent pitch center of 60, uh, volume and duration. I'm not going to mess with the interval content of the chord. That's kind of not the point of this video. And it's a little bit harder to parameterize over time. So I'm going to just leave this as is. So let's take a listen to this. Actually, I'm going to add in one more parameter, which I think is kind of interesting. Um, I'm going to add in staccato chance. And down here in the fourth argument to play chord, you can do stuff like staccato. And so I'm going to say staccato if random dot random is less than staccato chance, else none. I'm going to set staccato chance to be 0.5. So what this is going to do, random.random .random generates a random number between 0 and 1. And if that number is less than, in this case, 0.5, it's going to be staccato. Otherwise, it's going to have no articulation, meaning it's going to be held for its whole value. So let's take a listen when staccato chance is 0.5. So you got a mixture of staccato and non-staccato. If staccato chance is one, then it's all staccato. And if staccato chance is zero, no staccato. So what's great about this is that I can choose to set these parameters to any value I want and thereby explore the possibilities of this thing that I've created. So maybe I want to make it short duration, you know, pretty low volume, high pitch center, and a small number of notes in the chord. Let's take a listen to that. Or maybe I want the durations to be quite long, uh, the staccato chance to be low, the volume to be high, the pitch center to be pretty low, and the number of notes in the chord to be large. So you can sort of see the expressive strings that we can pull. Now a really fun thing to do is to animate this over time. And uh, I created a convenience class in SCAMP to do that called time varying parameter. So from SCAMP extensions.utilities import time varying parameter. So what we've got here is num notes is a time varying parameter. And it's going to go from 4 to 1, then hold at 1 for a little while, then go up to 10. And 30, 30, and 40 are the durations in beats between each of these landmarks. So for 30 beats, it's going to go from four notes to one note, then stay at one note for another 30 beats, and then go from one note to 10 note chords over the next 40 beats. Same thing with pitch center. We start at 60, go up to 90, go down to 40. Note length is going to start at 0.25, so 16th notes. It's going to go down to 0.05. It's going to speed up. And it's going to go all the way up to 2, so it's going to get really slow. And then staccato chance, I'm going to vary it between 1 and 0, where 1 is all staccato and 0 is no staccato. 
I've built the time varying parameter class so it can be evaluated like a function. So all you have to do here is where it says num notes, you just say open close parentheses, and that evaluates what num notes should be at the given time. So it's aware of the current clock that it's running on and it looks up the current beat and looks up what its value should be. To keep things interesting, I also added a little bit of random variation to the pitch center so that it didn't just repeat the same note over and over and over. So let's take a listen to this. Notice it's starting out all staccato, fairly fast, four note chords. We should be headed towards one note chords and even faster. It's also going up in pitch gradually. One note chords now. Okay, it's going to start going down in pitch. It should gradually become more legato. And eventually the notes are going to stop getting smaller and start getting longer. Here we go, the numb notes are starting to get more. Obviously, this is kind of a beginner etude. And there you go. I'm not saying it's a great piece, but you can see that this is a way of kind of animating parameters over time in a way that lets you create a piece. Thanks for watching. If you want to try any of this for yourself, as always, I'll put links to the code in the description. And if you're looking for a fun and interesting way to learn to code in Python and make music while doing it, check out my course on cadenze.com. Finally, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, or do a little happy dance.